Oh, and more of a shame. And carried the cross, carried the cross that I uh, should have carried, but I couldn't pay the sin debt, and you couldn't pay the sin debt for yourself, but praise God, uh, the spotless and sinless Lamb of God, uh, He uh, could pay that sin debt. And uh, that's, that's why He was born in this earth. He was born to die. He was born to carry the sins of all mankind. Uh, but He came to give us hope, praise God. And as we stand here today, I've thought a lot down through the years about uh, the passing of uh, a born-again Christian, uh, the passing of any human being. Uh, there's a divine appointment with God, saved or lost, uh, uh, those... Uh, uh, that go on to be with the Lord, that are born again, praise God. Uh, uh, the graveyard is resurrection ground because of Jesus Christ and what He did. I thought this morning about uh, the glorious day when Jesus comes back uh, and uh, He uh, uh, calls us all home to be with Him. And uh, uh, these graves will burst open and those that uh, love the Lord. They're gonna. We're gonna be caught up together with them in the air. The Bible says, "And so shall we ever be with the Lord." Praise God. Uh, and I appreciate that this morning. First Thessalonians chapter number four and verse number uh, thirteen. We'll start reading. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep that ye sorrow not, even as them which have no hope. Praise God today. Well, I'm glad that I got a hope. Uh, there ain't no sorrow in my soul today. Praise God. Uh, we have to sometimes walk down those dark and those lonely valleys. And I was thinking about some of those times that we have to walk through in this life. Uh, and we have to plant our loved ones in the ground. Uh, and it's just like that Jesus described it as a a uh, seed of corn or a seed of wheat that's put into the ground, uh, it has to die to bring forth and be resurrected up uh, into newness of life, praise God. Uh, and I'm glad that we have that hope today, uh, not as others that sorrow, uh, but we have a hope today in Jesus Christ, praise God. Uh, uh, he said, the, the Apostle Paul said concerning them which are to sleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. Even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. I praise God one day he's coming back. And I believe those that have gone on uh, and outstripped us and gone on, I believe they're going to come back with him. Uh, they're going to come back with him, praise God. Boy, I'm glad for that one day. Amen. Uh, that the loved ones, the ones that I love, and the ones that uh, I was heartbroken to see go, praise God, uh, one day we'll see them again. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, praise God. Boy, I'm glad, by the word of the Lord. Praise I'm glad we have the word of the Lord, amen. Boy, it's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. This world is a dark place, but we have a light. That we can that shine by God, uh, that we can get through uh, this life, Amen. And uh, boy, I'm glad. I'm glad this morning for the Word of God, uh, the Word of the Lord, that which we are alive and remain under the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Praise God. You know, there ain't nothing going to stop the coming of the Lord. Amen. Amen. There ain't no uh, uh, war in uh, Ukraine going to stop it. There ain't no war and wherever it may be going to stop the coming of the Lord. The devil ain't going to stop the coming of the Lord. Yes, Praise God the devil. Oh, I, I was thinking this morning how that uh, he probably thought that he won the victory uh, when Jesus was uh, died on the cross. Hey, Amen. He probably thought that he won the victory, uh, but he didn't. Praise God. Uh, because Jesus, Three days later, praise God. I I, I remember uh, hearing years ago uh, an old preacher. His name was S. M. Lockridge, and he preached a great message. It's called "It's Friday, but Sundays are coming." Uh, praise God. Uh, and uh, Jesus rose up out of that grave, victorious over death, hell, and the grave. The devil can't prevent the coming of the Lord. 
Nothing can prevent Jesus coming back, praise God. Boy, I'm glad for that today. I like verse 16. It said, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, praise God. One of these days, Jesus Christ himself, I believe that the Father's going to look over to the Son, and he's going to say, Son, go bring him home, amen. And Jesus is going to stand up, and he's going to come back with that great host, praise God, the Lord himself, Jesus Christ himself, praise God. One of these days, uh, I'm going to see him with my eyes, uh, not through the eye of faith, but praise God, I'm going to see him uh, just like he's right there in front of me, which he will be, praise God. Oh, the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. And I tell you who's going to hear the shout, those that have been born again, those that know Jesus Christ, amen. Uh, it breaks my heart to think that there's folk that's going to be left behind. It does. I, I, I don't like that. Um, but I can't prevent the coming of the Lord. I can't prevent. Uh, praise God. The opportunity is here today. The opportunity is here. Today is the day of salvation, the Bible says. <coughs> today is the day uh, to make the peace calling and the election sure to know that when Jesus himself steps out, Praise God, and, and splits that eastern sky that we're, that, that we're going to hear the voice, the voice of the Savior, the voice of the shepherd, the sheep. Hear the voice of the shepherd, another. They will not follow, praise God. Boy, I'm glad today that Jesus, the Lord himself, shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel. And with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Praise God. Today when Jesus comes back, when the Lord himself descends, from heaven with a shout. The dead in Christ, <coughs> praise God, they're going to rise first. Brother Lonnie, all the work you've done down through the earth burying people, uh, the Lord's going to come back and undo it. <laughs> they're going to all, they're going to all come, and they're going to rise first, praise God. They're going to rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together. Well, I like that, caught up together. We're going to be together. Well, I was, uh, maybe, I think I was talking to Hannah this morning. Maybe I was just thinking. But I was thinking about when I was the growing up and uh, all the family was together. Uh, a, a large family. All of them was together. It was a happy time. It was a time of unity. And then I thought about our church family. I thought about how we're all together at the church spiritually we are a family we're all together uh, but praise god there's coming a day when we're all of us as the church and all of us as our family members that have gone on we're going to be together one more time i like being together i like togetherness i like being with the folks i love and folks that love me but most of all we're going to be together with jesus mm -hmm. praise god we're going to be together with him when he comes back and he's with that eastern sky. The, uh, the, then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Praise God for that day when we'll meet the Lord in the air. And so here's the promise. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Uh, we're always going to be with him. There ain't going to be no more separation. There ain't going to be no separation. We're for comfort one another with these words. Praise God. What a comfort it is this morning. What a comfort to know. Uh, praise God. Uh, and whether, one old preacher said, whether I go by the quads or whether I go by the clouds, mm -hmm. praise God, I'm a going. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm a going mm -hmm. through the imputed righteousness of Jesus Christ, my Savior. 
in the blood that he shed. Praise God on the cross of Calvary. Amen. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for this time. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for giving us the privilege and the honor to be here today on this Resurrection Sunday morning. God, you said in your word, uh, when Mary run over there, in the, there in the book of Matthew, in chapter 28, <coughs> and the angel said, He's not here, for He is risen. Lord, this morning, we're standing on resurrection ground. God, you're not here. You are risen. We thank you for that today, God. I pray that you'd bless each individual. God, that's here today, touch their hearts. Give them, Lord, an uh, extra portion of the Holy Spirit today. God, bless our worship service uh, in a few hours as we <clears throat> meet back for the worship time in the churches around about us. We pray for them. We pray for this community. We pray for the folks that live around. Uh, God, we pray for their hearts. And God, what you do for us now, we'll thank you and we'll praise you in the name of our Savior. Amen and amen. Praise God today. Well, I feel good in my soul today. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, well, has anybody got a word? Well, if not, I guess we'll be dismissed.